Behold. The Death Brand set. This is a pretty cool set. Apparently I also had this on there. Um, this is the Death Brand set. It's a really cool, unique light armor set that you can get. Uh, that you belong to a pirate captain, which, by the way, I recommend doing that quest, if not for the set, just for the sheer amount of gold that you can get, because this was the tomb of a pirate captain, so you get inside, and there's just piles of gold everywhere, which you can loot and pick up. So you can see my gold, just like, I must have found like 20,000 gold in there, it was crazy. But let's take a look at this set, and that includes the swords on both sides. The Gauntlet. While dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each death brand item you wear. So, if it's all four, 40%. So, this is a, this is a good, good set to use if you like to dual wield. Keep that in mind. The Boots. Increase your carrying capacity by 10 for each death brand item you wear. Increase your stamina by 15 for each item you wear. And Water Breathing. Plus, uh... Plus 100 armor while wearing a complete set of death brand armor. So that's a pretty nice way to, to utilize that. Now let's look at the two swords here. Soul Render and Blood Scythe. I have to, I have to pick them up in order to look at them. While we, when wielded with Soul Render, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to weaken enemy armor. Okay. When wielded with Blood Scythe, absorbs 50 magicka and has a chance to dispel magical defenses. So you kind of get the idea of how this set works. Pretty awesome. I mean, this is the kind of set that I would want to try playing with a, uh, a light armor uh, character along with a dual wielder. Probably like a red guard would probably be able to use that. Because I think they get, don't they get like a buff or something for dual wielding? I forget. Uh, anyway. Um, also, guess who's back? Yep. Serana is back. But take a look. You see that? She has green eyes. Because she's not a vampire anymore. She cured her vampirism. And she's back because, well, Durkithus was just standing around doing nothing. And I was getting tired of it. So, I decided to go get Serana and have her rejoin me. Hopefully she won't be that disruptive like she used to be. I do find it funny, though, that she still wears her hood when we're outdoors in the, in, you know, during the daytime. I don't think it's that she is getting harmed by the sun. I think it's just more that she's just so used to not dealing with the brightness of the sun. Also, we have to wait again to deal with this guy trying to excavate this place because they just keep running into problems. Also, I've also cleared all the other stones. So we'll head back to the Skull Village soon, but let's go find Neloth before we do that. Oh yeah, this guy is working at trying to... I think it was summon a... An Ash Guardian, I think it is. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. He's like, do you mind? I'm working Another here, don't bother me. Order. No, a theoric order. I think that's right. So you can see it's uh, not really a tree. It's more like a big giant mushroom. But they also have a couple of different houses here. Two fingers groaning. Float up? Huh. 
Thanks a lot, Serana. Hold on a second. No? Huh. Hello there. You again. Didn't I see you in Raven Rock? You did? I don't remember seeing you. I hear that you know where to find black books. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Is this somehow connected to your search for Mira? It is indeed. I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. I've read the Ogma Infinium. Have you? The actual Ogma Infinium, that's it. I've searched for it myself for many years, without success. Well then, you should know better than anyone that Hermaeus Mora is not to be trifled with. But he is subtler than most of the other Daedric princes, as you would expect of the Prince of Knowledge and Fate. You seem to have escaped the fate of many who find themselves ensnared forever by the law of his secrets. Or... Perhaps not. I found a black book. I need to find more. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. I ain't denying it. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually turns out to be the most useful in my experience. I have to know what Mirak knows if I want to stop him. Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Two power mad dragonborn. It could be very interesting. Huh. Do you know where I can find another black book? Oh yes. They're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. You have a black book? Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstheim. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. Okay. Well, why won't the book you have here help me? Oh, it is clearly not associated with the same power that has overtaken the island. And I'm not talking about Hermaeus Mora. These black books are all his, of course. No, what you're looking for is a specific book, presumably because Mirak's power derives from it. So you know where to find this black book? The one that's connected with Mirak? Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. Ah, uh, the Dwemer. <laughs> uh, what do they have to do with this? Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me. Now? Okay. A <laughs> wee. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Let me guess, from my partner, right? Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. He's starting to scare me a little. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hey, hold on. Is this... Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, I see. Ah... <sighs> Well, I guess we are sticking with this guy. He's waiting. He's turning around like, are you coming or not?
It's that area right there, which is, which if you can't tell, is a Dwemer ruin. I actually found out some interesting things about the Dwemer uh, looking into uh, the third game, Morrowind. For one thing, you can actually encounter the last known Dwemer we've ever had in this setting in that game. Are those bandits? I'm sorry, what was that sound? Sounded like a like a massive whale or something. Gosh, look at that. All that ash just spewing out of that volcano there. My goodness. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He went up there for some reason. Don't you think it was a simpler path to just kind of go down this way? Oh, well. Fascinating. <laughs> yes, fascinating. Quite fascinating indeed. More of these things. Oh. I just realized I only did the one word for the shout. I didn't do all three. The Dwemer certainly knew how to build for the ages. These towers have outlasted their creators by millennia. The book is housed inside that dome. I'll need to unlock the door for us. Let's get on it's with it. It's in there. Uh. Here we are, the Chardak. The book we're after is right inside that dome. It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. What can you tell me about the Black Books? Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce mortals into his service with the law. Of forbidden knowledge. Where the black books actually came from, no one really knows. Some appear to have been written far in the past. Others might be from the future. The future. Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. And knowledge. Let's not forget that. Shall we get on with it? Yeah. Yes, let's go into yet another Dwemer ruin, because of course I just love these. Is that his? Because if so, that's awesome. Get over here, Reavers. Get over here. You'll regret crossing. Get out of our guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, hey, if he's going to summon those things to help us out, sure. Uh oh. They are Who's there? very clever. So you chose to. Ha! Never should What am I doing? There we go. I got done, There we go. Oh, off he goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. The Dwemer of Nachardak appear to have been fond of these control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. 
I sealed the door when I left to keep out ignorant meddlers. Let me unlock it. All right. The book is just in sight. Lovely. I wonder if he's essential. You can see the book right here. Oh. So tantalizingly close. But trust me, no magic will open that. I'd have had the book already if it could. No, we'll have to do this the hard way. If we can restore the steam supply to this oh. room, I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. This way to the boilers. Great. Just great. Follow me. Uh, I mean, these places are interesting, but sometimes they can be a bit of a pain to go through. Especially with all the traps. Some of them being instant death traps. Which, of course, you guys know how much I love stuff that instantly kills you. Nichardak, the city of a hundred towers. In its day, it was the largest of the great Dwemer archives, and perhaps the most advanced. In the old stories, when the Nords came to conquer it, it said that Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering. Now reduced to this. As you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flooded, but it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. But the pumps only operate when a cube is in the pedestal. Unfortunately, I only have one cube. These four boilers provide steam to the room upstairs. They're shot down, but they still respond to the control cubes. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. Then I should be able to open the book's protective case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. Okay. Yes, here we are. This device shows the location of four more cubes in this section of the city. It looks like most of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was abandoned. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. Or that the Dwemer's servitors continued to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. Three of the cubes are through here. This seems like a sensible place to start. Alright, the workshop. Oh, lovely. Ooh. I hope the rest of the cubes are this easy to find. Although knowing the Dwemer, I rather doubt it. <laughs> oh boy. No! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, these must be the great workshops of the Chardak. Impressive, even in ruins. In the city's days of glory, it was reputed to be able to assemble a complete automaton in a single day. 
Much of the Dwemer's army at the Battle of Red Mountain must have come from here. See if we can find a way to get that next view. <laughs> he just fell off. Dude, you better be a good swimmer. There he is. Let's do this again. And the Centurions always have really good stuff. Oh boy! Let's see what happens when uh, when I remove one. Where'd you come from? Oh, that way. You got this. He's like, well, that's that. All right, now let's see what happens if I if I swap them. Let's see if what happens if I put this one here. Ooh. 
well, well, well. Wish I had the other one to put right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Wonder what could be in here. Nothing. Find a decently hidden chest and there's nothing in it. Nothing of value. Just a tad bit of gold. Uh, oh boy. Gonna have to put this up here if I want to grab the other one, which I need to get. Nope, I messed that up. That was my bad, I messed that up. Never mind, that actually was not that big a deal. Let's see where this leads. I'm gonna have to take the other cubes. Maybe raise the water level high enough so that it can actually make some kind of difference. With the water level this high, we can swim across the collapsed part of the passage and reach the other side. There we go. <laughs> you know, I'll just attack it from here. Oh, 
okay. I forgot how much that hurts. Alright, he's starting to go down. Cut his legs out. There we go. Alright, now let's head across. Hey, look, we're right back where we were. What the hey? Where did these guys come from? I guess we have to take these with us. Huh? It says we're supposed to go... I mean, he's heading that way. And the marker is that way, so... There you go. go. The aqueducts. The last cube is somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. Huh. Three switches, huh? Do more damage. I'd guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down. Ah. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Quickly now. Uh oh. I think they may <laughs> be building it. Come out this instant. <laughs> Come out this this cube once you find the last one we need. Good luck. Okay. Is 
Better not betray me, man. Uh, okay. How do I get that door to open? Is this where I'm supposed to go? these things. These are the instant death traps I was mentioning before. Ugh. I can't stand these things. Do you have the cube? Good, good. Then I'll take this cube and we can be on our way. Watch out. The water's rising even higher. The boat comes shut down. That was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. <laughs> With the cube I retrieved from the pumping pedestal, we should now have five cubes, exactly what we need. Now we can finally see about getting those boilers started. Why isn't he following? Why is he not following? here pal what are you doing here I picked up this cube for you I thought I the boil we need a total of five cubes one to operate the pump in the great hall the other four to activate the boiler All right. So I need to remove one of the cubes up there, and then I can use them on the pumps.
the reading room has steam. So, it should be a simple matter to release the book. Alright. Thanks for knocking that thing into the water where I, <laughs> I didn't want to bother going after it to get the stuff, by the way. Ugh. Alright, let's just go back up and get the book. <laughs> to the reading room. simple as at last I hope it was worth it please be my guest you deserve the first look besides it could be very dangerous these books are known to drive many people insane oh gee thanks oh good be sure to say hello to her mayor's mora for me I'm not sure I like this Neloth anymore. <laughs> uh, I guess we're back in what? Oblivion? Lovely. Funny how, like, this is all made of books. Really? Let's wait for that to come back. That seemed pretty easy. Oh. Chapter 2. Okay, so there's multiple chapters to this. Lovely. Just lovely. Oh my goodness. More lurkers. Help me out here. Ow. Goodness. Grab those gems. Uh. 
Uh, how many chapters are there in this one? Oh, there's another seeker. Those things are just straight up creepy. Oh, great, another lurker. He's just waiting for me. He's like, come on over. We'll have some fun. Apparently that's where I'm supposed to go. Probably up there. This book offers better be worth all this. Oh my goodness, I can't stand these guys. Next chapter. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm just running past them. Ooh. Oh, I think this is where I was at before. Oh, wow. Well, we found it. All right, what does this one offer? Hi, well Hermaeus Mora. Well done, my champion. Your journey towards enlightenment has finally led you here to my realm, as I knew it would. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I like how the game offers me the chance to actually, like, 
embrace the role of like actually wanting to serve him like yes my lord what do you wish of me i'm like what is it you want of me this time? you have entered my realm you have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained let me guess mirak you are dragon like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. Uh, I'll learn Mirak's secrets on my own, thank you very much. No. Look around you. You have done nothing here on your own. <laughs> you could spend a hundred lifetimes searching my library, and you will never find what you seek. I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn, to bend the world to your will. Um... Uh, here, then, is the knowledge you need, although uh, you did not know you needed it. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. What makes you think that's my goal? Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Ha. <laughs> Typical. <sighs> and... Isn't Mirak your ally? Why would you help me defeat him? He has served me long and well, but he grows restless under my guidance. I can't imagine why. His desire to return to your world will spread my influence more widely, but it will also Set him free from my direct control. It may be time to replace him with a more loyal servant. <laughs> One who still appreciates the gifts that I have to offer. Maybe, but <laughs> if you think that's me, I'm going to greatly disappoint you. And why do I need this word of power to defeat Mirak? Oh, even dragons submit to Mirak's voice. Without that power, you cannot face him. So say I, Hermaeus Mora, master of the tides of fate. So what's your price for the final word of power? Knowledge. For knowledge. What do you want to know? The Scar have withheld their secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. Uh... I can't 
can't, but I'll ask anyway. How do I know I couldn't even trust you? My Demon. word is as true as fate, as inevitable as destiny. Bring me what I want, and I will give you what you seek. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. Here are the three choices. Dragonborn Force, use your unrelenting force shout, does more damage, and may disintegrate enemies. When your fire breath shout kills an enemy, a fire worm emerges from their corpse to fight for you for 60 seconds. Frost. Your frost breath shout encases foes in ice. No, I'm taking the fire one. Are you kidding me? I use fire breath a lot. Getting a fire worm, which I, you know, I'm guessing that's like a, you know, a drake, to fight for me for for a minute? Yes, please. All right, back to Souls time. Oh gosh, how am I gonna bring this up with a skull? What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. <laughs> uh. I talked to Hermaeus Mora. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did he have to say? He must have wanted something from you. Oh, he did. He wants the secrets of the skull in exchange for teaching me the third word. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you wow. become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Wow, Nalathabita. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. Inconsiderate there. I need to get back to Talmithran. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. The Ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. Yeah, by the way, the Red Mountain, yeah, that has to do with what happened in uh, the Morrowind game. Uh, in fact, I believe, if I recall correctly, the Red Mountain is where you fight the final boss of Morrowind. And I think... Where'd you come from? That is why well, that it is me. doing I that. Get back to tell me. Have some idea. Um, okay. Hi. We have commanded your day. Like, wait, how do I get back up? Yeah, if, if you're more knowledgeable about Morrowind, like if you've played Morrowind and you like you know it well, feel free to let me know if that really is like not only the Red Mountain from the Morrowind game, but also if that is like the reason why it's doing that. The events of Morrowind. If it's if that's the reason why it's still doing that. Uh, how 
am I gonna bring this up with Storn? Well, I'm gonna head to the Barrow to check out this excavation, see how that's going. And when we come back, we will be uh, talking with Storn about this. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm about to get Storn killed. <laughs> I have a feeling Hermaeus Moore is gonna take the knowledge from him and then kill him. I really hope that doesn't happen. I honestly don't remember what happens. <laughs> Stay tuned.